Good evening. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Huda London. I'm a licensed cognitive behavior therapist and a mental health counselor. Today I'd like to continue talking about the missing case of Summer Moon Utewells. Summer is a five-year-old girl who was reported missing by her mother Candice Ply and her father Donald Wells. This was on the 15th of June 2021 around 6.30 in Tennessee, Rogersville. We have not had any new updates. This case is a bit difficult because the timelines do not seem to add up. Not from the parents, neither from the 15, 14-year-old boy Hunter who went swimming with Candice and Summer and grandis apparently they went to pick up medication for the grand mom his knee because she had inflammations on her knee and allison said allegedly that the boys used to kick her on her knee or had kicked her on the knee in gatenburg sorry just hold on this seems to be this seems to be normal for this family to keep on saying that they don't remember the timeline and that they're not good in timings. Recently, we've been hearing a couple of interesting interviews. One was from Jose. He was, he was a friend of Andrew, that is Hunter's father, who left him stranded in Tennessee. Jose has been telling us that he was renting a room from Candice. I do not... See Candace denying that, but the original story said that Andrew stranded him there. And like I remember previously, they said that Jose didn't have any money or any job. So I wonder how he could have afford to pay rent. Another thing that I wonder about Jose's interview is that Jose said that he told Candace that he won't leave until he told Dawn that he wouldn't listen to him and that he wouldn't leave until Candace tells him to leave. But I find that to be a red flag too because the house in Ben Hills Road does belong to Don Wells. It belongs to his mother who died. So it doesn't make sense. So no matter what Jose and every other person does need the per permission of the property owner. And another thing, if a husband and wife, if one of them tells you, you to leave, and especially if a couple is having disputes, it's better maybe just to, to get yourself out of that situation. Because you shouldn't be involved in the situation to begin with. Because it just tends up, it tenses up more anxiety and more pressure. You can imagine, I, I'm not taking sides for Don, but Jose has to try and understand that he came to John, Don, Donna Wells' property. And Donna's was, and that is exactly what Candice wanted to do. She wanted to use Jose to make Don jealous. But that could have got Don arrested for 10 years. So there's a lot of negligence going on with this family. And you can imagine that day with Grandis calling the the police and them getting arrested and Don getting arrested. Imagine that the three boys and some had to witness this kind of behavior. And when Allison caught Hunter in bed, allegedly, like Jose says with Candice, I wonder why would you let your son go out with Candice again. So this is this is not only negligence in Candice's side and Don's side, this is negligence in Alison, her grandmother, her mother, all of them, because they were apparently allegedly being investigated for giving children, small children, including summer, alcohol and drugs. So I wonder why T, uh, not the TBI, I apologize. Why the CPS in Tennessee did not do more? Why didn't they not? They shouldn't have warned this family when they were going to pick up the children. They gave them time in a way they put a 
I hate to say that. They put a death threat for the summer. Because if these people were involved in sex offenders and in abuse and all, then they're definitely going to try and get rid of summer. And they had so many complaints from Alison, from Leslie, from half of Tennessee. So this was not only some and her four brothers, Alison and her two children, her three children, were being investigated too. Because the children that were getting drugs were all these children. So this is, this is really terrible to hear that so many children were neglected and put in danger, in dangerous situations. And God forbid, I wouldn't say we are lucky, but I would say I hope they find someone and I hope justice is served, but thank God that it wasn't many more children. Imagine giving seven years of alcohol and according to Alison's grandmother, she said it was grand, uh, grandest that was under investigation. So I wonder if this family, Alison's family, is just good in pointing out to Candice and her family because they never answer back. And I really wonder if they buried someone not far away from the property since they seem to be very comfortable. I remember at the start when they were doing the searches, Don clearly said, oh, I want to thank the searches. We hear the helicopters till 4 a.m. at night constantly, you know. If you remember that. And I always used to think to myself, of course you'll be paying attention to searches when your child is missing. But he was paying extra attention. And that what that's usually allegedly what a criminal does. They check to see if the cops are anywhere near this, near the site where they buried the person. And then we heard that awful thing about Grandis, allegedly Alison's grandmother, sorry, Alison's mother said that Grandis or Candice said once, they both said that while the children, while Rosemary, who's whose summer's aunt was missing from 2009 in Wisconsin was while her children were playing on the pavement to the cement in the front yard or it was on a, another previous property they owned or something that uh, Candace said or grand, yeah Candace said your mother's buried sit underneath so I don't know how much is lie and how much is truth of Alison, her mother and grandmother. But I do believe that there was more investigations going on. So it was said that nothing was done. I hope justice comes to summer. I hope, I hope justice comes for the criminals, I mean. And I hope justice, we get justice for summer. Summer has become our worst baby girl. I really hope we get answers to this because this is so unfair. And I hope that CPS and the government of Tennessee never give those three boys back to these two people. Even if they get rehab, they need to get a psychiatrist ev ev evaluation. They need to get prison to start with. They need to get rehab. And they don't need to be anywhere near anyone's children personally. Uh, so Trezell and Jacqueline, I hope you all get the max. Although grand jury isn't always promising. But it looks like, I won't be surprised if CPS, not CPS, I'm sorry, they failed again there in Bakersfield with Orrin and Austin's case. But um, hopefully, I really, I really believe Cynthia Zimmer, the defense in Trezell and Jacqueline's case is going to hopefully get justice for those two boys. Those are two evil monsters walking on, walking on the face of earth. Evil. If evil has a face, it's Trezell, Jacqueline, definitely. And if negligence has a face, it's Candice and Dom. I really hate to say that, but that's the truth. And please... 
let's be respectful and mindful, especially to all these minors involved in this case. Even Hunter, now that we hear that Hunter was so shocked and disturbed, I become very mindful when I say about Hunter and the children. I was always mindful, but even if Hunter did something, it was under Candace's watch. Candace should get blamed. That's my personal opinion. And all of them should go to jail for covering up. Thank you, everyone. Please enjoy your week. Take good self-care. Love your friends, families. Forgive one another. Life is too short. Peace and Peace and prayers going out for Ukraine, all the victims suffering in Ukraine. Putin is another one who definitely needs a psychiatrist evaluation and much more than that. He needs prison. Anyway, thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.